It is horizon zero dawn o'clock, folks. Um, and we are gonna go do some. This, we're gonna do a heist. We're gonna do a heist, folks. We're gonna play a play a heist game. Is what this is. This is horizon zero heist. Zeist, that I know. I'm just gonna stop there. Um, yeah. So if you'll recall, last time, last time, silence said. Uh, go do this thing, and we eventually meandered over there after dealing with some pretty heavy side quests, and then uh, then we fought some dinosaurs, including a bellowback. You should be proud of me for, for fighting a bellowback, and, and hearing the, 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 the drums of, of instant death, which hasn't yet led to instant death, but I sure have had <laughs> my heart rate elevate. So hopefully that won't result in a heart attack. Um, no, the sounds of um, the sounds of a stalker. You know, the boom, boom, boom. they've got the, the drum that lets you know, like the music cues you that stuff is bad. Um, but I'm not exactly sure which of the music is the cue of exactly what, which is brilliant game design on their part because nobody tells you. But you're like, wait, something sounds different here. And then when you start hearing things that sound different later, you're like, I don't know what this one means, and I'm scared. Um, it's really exciting um, to 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 have things that are within the realm of what the game's already taught you, but something you kind of have to figure out on your own. Like like the music, we know that the music changes when we have dino encounters, or even when dinosaurs are near. Like well, machines are near. Like we figure that out. That's pretty early gameplay mechanic stuff that you figure out. Um, but uh but you think you get it you think you know it and then like something else happens and you're like wait wait <laughs> what does this mean uh stalkers um but yeah so we didn't actually kill any stalkers or be killed by stalkers i just fell off a cliff trying to get stuff from snap Maws after i'd killed them um i'm really graceful we did in fact fight and defeat an opasaurus which means i guess they're no longer an opasauruses although i did sick a sawtooth on it first so i don't know um but yeah and then we continue traveling west and have gotten to where silence is going to reveal how we're going to break up the focus network which was aloy's idea actually because aloy is awesome and i'm not going to give silence credit for anything i feel as though you will probably be unanimously on my side to just avoid giving silence credit for anything positive, just as a general rule of thumb. Um, but yeah, so we uh, we we sh waited on a on a bench for him because he's really dramatic and dumb. And then he's like, "All right, I will reveal to you what you're gonna do. You're gonna infiltrate the eclipse base and to find the derelict Tallneck." Now he probably said something else. But I don't remember what it was. So that's what I've got. That's all I've got in my brain right now, unfortunately. But look at how cool looking it is here. You know, I suppose I could have just stayed here like this. And uh, done my little summary recap thing here. But I, I didn't do that. So we're going to sneak through here. And uh, if somebody's concerned that I might die because I forgot what Silence said in specific, hold on. Hi, Bone Don't Float. Oh, well, yes, we're far enough in the game that it will be spoilers if you want to play this game yourself. But thank you for joining. We're actually about to play um, some new stuff on Thursdays. So if you want to see some games from the beginning, um, I'm going to be playing... Um, unpacking this week and then I think I'm going to play Stray and then I'm not quite sure for sure what I'm going to do after that. Um, so uh, so if you want to uh, not have spoilers, those are much littler games that should be fun and still give me something to stick my st to sink my teeth into as I, as I like to do. But welcome, it's good to see you here. Um, I appreciate the Delta Rune and Undertale folks popping by to say hello and join us. Yes, okay, so... That's right! That's right! Silence said it doesn't count as me doing a war crime because in my heart I was independent. Um, so it didn't count as being allied because I crossed my fingers behind my back. And Aloy was like, 
that's garbage and you're garbage and I'm gonna punch you in the throat when I see you next. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to remember my buttons because that's always a thing to forget. Okay, there's a bunch of corrupted stuff in there actually, including a corrupted chocobo. That's always bad news. So I went to the zoo this weekend with my friend who knows a lot about birds and we were talking about birds and she hasn't played this game, but I was trying to figure out what kind of birds actually these guys are. And I think they've got, they're more of the like ostrichy style maybe, but then they have the like pheasant things on top of their head. Isn't Ratite the name of a Pokemon? Wait, how do I walk through this? How do I walk through this? Racket. Let's see what's new here. Are you sure? I mean, you would know more than I would. I've only played Pokemon Blue. It's been a little while. Man, I am really slow at these games. I'm sorry. Oh man, okay, somebody else here may know less than I do about Pokemon. That's that's actually kind of exciting. All right. What? I uh I uh man. All right, well, we could YOLO it. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Did it think it saw me? Oh, there's a grass there. Hold on. Collected machines, patrolling like guards. More like soldiers. Held in reserve for a war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. Thanks, Silence. You're helpful. Easy way in. The back way in. I didn't say it was easy. All right. We're going to take inventory here. And figure out what we're going to do. All right. So, unfortunately, these guys I can't just drop with a single arrow. All right, so the one that's really bad news is this guy right here. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, they look like chocobos, really, is what they look like. Okay. So I could go to one of these other patches and try to execute something. I could drop with a single silent strike. No, that's true. Go, 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 go. Halo, 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 run. I keep hearing explosions. I'm not a fan of the explosions I keep hearing. Okay, that guy I think I'm gonna be able to drop too. If I can get the timing right. Somebody doesn't see me here. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, nothing to see, nothing to see, nothing to see, nothing to see here. Nothing, 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 nothing. What is exploding? I don't like the sounds of that. All right, my heart is pounding. The audio is really good at making my heart pound. Okay, I don't, the thing is I don't want the chocobo to see me silent strike this guy. If I'm even close enough to silent strike this guy. Okay, out, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, honey, back, 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 okay, silent. Silent! And deadly to the enemies. They don't sound like footsteps. They could be, I suppose. Okay, what else have we got going on here? Oh, we got two chocobos! Great! Can I silent strike a chocobo to death? Because I got two corrupted chocobos and two watchers. <sighs> that 
That guy's kind of far away. Maybe he won't notice. Maybe. Nothing to see here, buddy. Hi, Timothy. Welcome. I'm trying not to die here. Okay. That guy doesn't go over that way very long. I think he's probably the worst news that we've got of all of these guys up here. All right. So then he walks that way. I'm gonna try not to take too long. Yeah, like there's like barely time to get over there. Oh, but then he continues on that way. Okay, so there's a little bit longer before he turns around. Hi, Kalunet, welcome. We're having a, we're doing a heist of sorts. You can't override corrupt guys. I believe. That is against the rules. Nothing to see here. Please don't just randomly start spitting fireballs at me. Okay, I'm taking inventory of what else there is. Is that guy over there? Because there's two guys here. Okay, there is a time that I can silent strike this guy while nobody else can see him. All right, so now when he's out here, I actually don't know if anybody else can see him. I'm really not sure. But over here, I think I can. Oh no, he's not close enough. Oh, okay, so I have to do it from here. Okay, we're gonna try this. What are you doing? Stop wasting time. Shut up, silence. Oh, goodness. Okay, hold on. Oops. Wrong button. Oh jeez, oh jeez, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh shoot. Oh hello. Okay, hold on. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, Aloy. Goodness. I should probably change out of my clothes that are for stealthing because I'm not really stealthing very well here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Probably get out of the poison. I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. Okay, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Absolutely nothing to see here, buddy. You got a question mark, but you're fine. You're fine. Everyone's fine. You're fine. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Just go back to normal. Be your little okay. dude. They're heading back. Be your little dude self. There's you and somebody else. What is glowing up there? Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, folks. It looks like we're having a slight, a slight, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of reminding since we got some new folks coming in here. Uh, so just so you know, we're really chill around here generally, and we tend to try to do things in a as friendly a manner as we can. So do your best to be friendly and kind. Um, if you're looking for a place to troll, I'm afraid we're not really very entertaining for that. 
And uh, if you uh, are looking for somebody who is going to be super hardcore, fast, and good at video games, I'll, I'm afraid that's not going to be me. So if you are... Uh, if you are okay with sitting back and chilling and being a, a friendly little place, then uh, then by all means pull up a chair. Um, but I know that there's a lot of folks on Twitch who are very, like, rah rah rah, high energy goofs. I'm not really that. I talk a lot about the story and emotion of the game I'm playing right now. That's not so much because we're a. Uh, well, we're, we're sniping some dinosaurs here. Um, I think that's the only guy left. I think there was another question mark there, though. Uh, what do you think? Can we take this guy? Can we take this guy? It's okay. It's all good. Like I said, I know it's kind of like the norm. Like people, like that's what, that's what people do in most places. Um, let's see. We're going to give this a try. Okay, so you don't do as much damage if you don't pull your arrow properly. Hold on. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. We have, uh, we have triumphed. But I think there's another guy out there somewhere. Oh, look at that. There's climby things. You should be proud of me for recognizing the climbing things. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're goofing around, like, like it's one thing to be a little bit goofy, but if you go into a new place, I recommend the best thing you can do is kind of get a feel for the flavor of the community you've walked into. It's kind of like you walked into, you walked in, maybe not quite somebody's house, um, but uh, but it's like you 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 uh, came up to like some sort of like a, I don't know, a group that's meeting up that you uh, that you don't know. So just uh. Get a, get a feel for how we are and try to be try to be nice to each other okay are you horizon zero dawn fans let's see I'm taking a look around here I think I'm gonna go climb that tall thing but I wanted to get some healing first because I might have eaten a lot of my healing items fighting a giant fire chocobo what is this way oh uh that looks like death so we're not gonna do that <laughs> not recommended i love how silence gets on your case um if you're taking too long and by love i mean it gives me one more thing to complain about with him no you may not get mod i mod people that i know and trust i do not mod total strangers sorry um You'll have to stick around um, and uh, get to know the community. Oh, did the music just get scarier? Is this indicating to me that there's going to be more scary stuff? Probably. I don't like the fact that there's something going bong, bong, bong. All right, we're going to search the supply crate. Yeah, I try really hard to give people the benefit of the doubt and to give them an opportunity to chill out because I do know that things that might count as trolling in here might seem like perfectly common. This is how we hang out in other places. Um, but uh, but yeah, if you're if you if you come here to mess with me, like I just I'd really rather you not. Please, like ask yourself what what the thing is that you're trying to accomplish. Like, if, if, if what you're genuinely trying to do is, like, if you're like, I want, I want people here to, to like me and think I'm funny, um, we do definitely have a sense of humor. I mean, I say that I don't have a sense of humor, but I kind of do. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but if what you're trying to do is something for your own self instead of being part of a community here, this is not the place for it. Sorry. Oh, man, I'm finding all the stuff. I'm running on the yellow things. 
It's like I'm learning how to play this game. They really expect me to use traps. Are they telling me I should be using traps in this situation? Possibly. Possibly. All right. So it does not appear that this is the way... Well, no, now I'm going across the river thing here. So that might actually be... I wonder if this was an intended means of going across, like, of dealing with the situation. So there's stuff that I dropped over there. Power cell. Um, and some things. A corrupted long leg. Which it looks like I might be able to get to if I do this. Or I might fall to my death, because I'm really bad at gauging my jumps. I... Yeah, but the Tripcaster makes noise. Which is part of why I don't use it. And the, uh... The other things... Dropping a trap does not make noise. Alright. So I think I'm gonna get that stuff and hope that I can come back up here. Um, I try not to make too much noise. All right. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I wonder if I should make more of those yellow potions, because they're really useful. You know? I wonder what goes into them. I wonder if they have a recipe for them. Hmm. Maybe I should look into that and see if I do. I swear there was stuff here. Hmm. We are... Well, we killed some, some enemies getting into the base. So I suppose, in a way, we are, in fact, in their base, killing their dudes. Um, metal shards. Metal shards. Okay. That's all the stuff there was to get here. Um, I don't... It sounds like something's being bombarded. I thought that the tripcaster made noise. I thought that everything that you shot made noise. Hold on, let me see if I can craft a potion. Health potion, resist potion. Resist fire, resist shock, resist freeze, and antidote. Oh, antidote. Oh. oh, those exist. Health boost potion. Oh, 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 I can make some of those. Not like a lot of them, but I can make some of them and therefore I can use them on boss fights. This is exciting. Okay, cool. All right. Because so much of what I do is stealth shooting from a distance. Um, I think I'm going to have to go back around and climb up that thing again, but that's fine. I kind of figured that might be the case. Because so much of what I do is, is stealth shooting from a distance. Um, if I'm going to be setting up prior to a prior to a fight, sound is a really big concern for me. Um, so. I'm pretty sure that it counts as shooting your bow to some degree. Cause that's the that's the the thing that the rope thing that shoots down rope thingies that can explode. I'm sorry, I'm really good with words. <laughs> right though? Okay, so apparently you actually do get rewarded for randomly hunting animals. Go there we go. Because you can make those special potions. I wasn't sure you could make them, but it turns out you can. And consequently, I'm quite excited about that. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I was going to actually count as that. Oh, shoot! How did that even happen? Should I go save again? If I go save, does that mean it won't make me do this fight again? <laughs> so saving wasn't that far. I bet silence will make fun of me if I do it. Hold on, we gotta go do that. We gotta go get made fun of silence. You know how it is. But the bow makes noise, too. What is the way... Hold on. 
Am I going the wrong way? Hello, pheasant. What are you? Campfire. Is that the campfire I came from? I think so. Okay. Well, I took out these guys and it was okay. Oh man, I've got silence. It's gonna be like, what are you doing, Aloy? What are you doing? And I'm gonna be like, you're a butt and nobody likes you. Is there anyone who actually likes silence? Does he have fans? Other than he himself. Is he one of those guys that like nobody else likes him so he has to like himself for it? It also takes time and and stuff management, so. Okay, somebody loves, but do, okay, but do you love silence or do you love to hate silence? Because I like his addition in the game. I enjoy the fact that I get very, oh my God, silence when he comes heading up. heading in the wrong direction, Aloy. Amazing. Turn back around. Okay, he's got a delayed reaction. Ha. Take that. All right, we're gonna continue going. No, he's a good character. He's a very good character. Especially because like, so far, aside from his like referenced, oh, I did help the Eclipse at one point in time. He hasn't done anything evil that we know of. He's just really unlikable without being monstrous, um, which, is, which is good. Um. Hold on. Oh, wrong button. I'm gonna try not to fall the. Okay, I fell the right way instead of the wrong way this time. Where does this take me to? Can I climb off something? Do I want to climb off something? I guess maybe I do. It's a bunch of scrappers, huh? We're gonna go really quietly. Explosions in the distance. Yes. Pay that no mind. <laughs> Doesn't concern you. Excuse me? Oh my god. I. Silence! Silence! Okay, where does this let me go? Oh, well, fortunately, Aloy knows where this lets me go. I have no clue. Where are we going, Aloy? What are we doing? What are we doing? Aloy? Oh, is this a way down? Oh, it is another way down. Okay. I don't need that. I have done that. All right. There we go. Right button. Let's take in our inventory of what's going on over here. Okay. I am out of view. Yes, I am out of view. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go here. Hopefully not fall off the edge, because that would be bad. We got here one corrupted scrapper, two corrupted scrappers, three corrupted scrappers, four corrupted scrappers, five corrupted scrappers. I believe this is where I should say ah ha ha. Yes, I'm glad to know that Chrono and I <laughs> are on the same page here. All right, so I'm going to want to be down there when this guy comes. I don't know if I can kill them in one hit. But he does, uh, he does, hold on, I'm gonna do this. Nothing to see here? Okay. Okay. All right. So this is just a matter of timing, trying to get the scrapper before, and when another scrapper can't see him. Um, provided that I can kill them in one hit, which I'm not entirely sure I can. I could also override them. No, I can't. Okay, back, 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 nothing to see here. Okay. Okay. I can't override them, they're corrupt. I literally just said that earlier this stream, but look. I think I do have to kill them, honestly. To get, I mean, I could try not to get past them, but, uh, or try to get past them without killing them, but I'm not, not sure I can do that. Nothing to see here. Okay. Yeah, like I could go full stealth in this game, but they have, they have not yet made it seem like they uh, want, I don't know. 
usually my inclination towards full full stealth like non non combative stuff usually that's against like for example sapient foes who are not all bad um in the case of the bandits they are all bad in the case of okay, we're gonna do this then. in the case of these guys i don't know how sapient they are oh hello uh guys ah uh, i'm concerned i'm concerned i have a concern all right does this guy get close enough where does he go so that i can stab him in the back because this thing right here looks Hold on, we're gonna interrupt. Sorry to uh, to interrupt your regularly scheduled backstabbing stealth heist, but uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, uh, uh I, I'm I'm really feeling like uh, this guy right here looks kind of like this guy right here. I, I'm gonna make I'm gonna gonna make a fairly confident ID of him there. Okay. Oof. Nothing to see here. Okay, so you're all the way over there. One, two, three. Okay, so there's more. But they're on the other side there. Because I killed these guys quietly, I did not catch attention. And they stayed over on their side of the river. Which is great, because that lets me not die. Oh, he's good. Oh, he's good. I'm a fan of not dying as much as I can. So we know that the Eclipse have been working with these Deathbringers or the Uwu Bringers, as, as we very coolly call them, as the cool and unique people we are with our, <laughs> I like our, I like our inside jokes, okay? They might be silly and goofy, but they make me laugh. Hello, Bunny. Okay, so Bunny's here in a way could kind of be like a, like a refill for potions and stuff. Okay, this is medicinal. Yes. But so they've got more of those death bringers. And I uh I don't I don't know that I'm okay with that. Okay, so there's gotta be a way to do this. I wonder if I can bring one of those guys over here. So that I don't have to ford the river. But I could ford the river. It might actually be easiest for me to ford the river now that I think about it. Maybe I should ford the river. Yes, purely academic. Um, I've known too many academics. <laughs> oh, man. In fact, my dad is an academic. I know that academics can get very carried away with the subject of their, uh, their interest. And, uh, do bad things. And these guys, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say no. Okay. So this looks like this is the best place to go into and out of the water because there's that right there. So we're going to just do this really as carefully and as quickly and as quietly as I possibly can. Okay, we did it. Now let's take inventory of these guys. Okay, you and you. Huh. I see what you did there, narrator boy. All right. So we got one, two, three. So these guys are close enough that I'm actually gonna have to worry with both of them. That that guy doesn't see what I do with this guy here. Okay, that guy did not notice me just destroying his friend. Wow, you're not, you're not the most observant fella, are you? Where are you going? What are you doing? Where? Okay. So they've clearly set this up so that you can do silent strikes on most of these guys. Um. I don't think scrappers are that hard. I wonder if I can throw a rock. I think I can throw a rock. I mean, we are, we are a heist here. Like, there is a heist happening. 
He's like, huh? Will you get close enough? Or are you gonna just attack it? They didn't set that one up perfectly enough for me. So I set it up for myself because I'm cool that way. So now I'm being I'm being foolish and fearless and just like traipsing around. Oh, I do have a whistle. I just really like the rocks because you can control more like, I guess the whistle only goes after the one you're targeting. Wait, was there another blue thing? No, there wasn't. Yeah, there was nobody else over there. There's a rabbit. I think it still counts. Okay, I'm counting it as a, I think I'm counting it as a heist. I don't know. You may disagree. What is the consensus? Heist, no heist. Oh, look at that, I have more rocks than I came in with. Amazing. Okay, hi buddy. Oh, 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 I should maybe, I should maybe be a little more cautious here. It's a little harder to tell now where, uh, where you can see or not be seen. Okay, there's gotta be some red grass up there, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, well, maybe I have to sneak around this way? No, that appears to be the only way up. Okay, all right. You know what, though? You know what? I think this guy's the only one left. I think he's the only one left, and I think I can take him. So I think I'm gonna. Is this medicinal? No, that's fire kiln. I guess I should probably be using those. Okay. Is there grass? I don't... I don't see any grass up there. Okay. Oh, I think there's grass right there, but uh, I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm going to do? He's like, huh? What could it be? What could it be? Come here. Oh, that was satisfying. Took a few more rocks than I expected. This guy was cautious. Give him credit for that. Look at all those rocks. Yeah, full stealth on that one anyway. Previous round, maybe not so much, but this round, yes. I don't like these booms. And I especially don't like the fact that the guy who- The just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Oh, shut up, silence. You don't know how to do this. I do, in theory. Slow and steady is generally the way to go. I don't like the fact that my informer, my informant, told me don't worry about the fact that you hear booms. That's not your concern, I believe, is what he said. Also, Chrono knows he's gonna make me happy because he's referencing the Cooking with Scorpion videos. <laughs> Are you familiar with Cooking with Scorpion videos, everybody else? And if not, you should look it up. Here we go. Oh geez, oh geez, oh geez, maybe I should've gone back and saved. I, I was one of the funniest Again, things I, I'd seen. What is going on here? Legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Oh, don't, don't yet, don't yet. Aloy, I need to find. Three men died in okay. the blast and boulders crashing down. 
the sun shall remember your sacrifice. My focus is glowing to remind me that I should be using my focus. So they have just established. They have just established. Because of the order in which we did things, which in a way is the order in which we had to do things, kind of, because Bright Market falls on the way to here. You kind of have to do that. Um, and so if you are actually investigating things kind of as, as you go, um, then you would, um, you would go to Bright Market and you would get a series of quests that show you that some of the people who are with the Eclipse are not true believers. Some of the people who are with the Eclipse are under duress and would not, would rather not be there. Um, humanizing them, as it were. Um, which makes me... If a rabbit is good enough for the rest of us, it's good enough for him. Oh, they've got a snobby boss. Oh, hello. Okay. Either that's going to warn me that I'm going to have a really big dude to fight at the end of this, or I'm going to play a Hitman level. So interesting. Nice not to be working the pit. All that. The pit. That doesn't sound good. All right. So they said that I don't have to kill the guys, which usually makes me feel that I shouldn't kill the guys. Uh, I didn't want to kill the bandits when I first encountered the bandits, but they made the point that the bandits are super evil. Thug, thug, dredger, thug, thug, dudes. When we take back Marie, leave the revenge killings to heal us. All I want is to take it back. See, they're they're kind of human. Um, let's see. Set a tripcaster rope inside the armor. Yeah, the uh, the pit. I'm a. Uh, I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about all of this, to be honest. I don't think that I can actually go in there because you can't usually go in these things. Like, I feel like I have to... Hi, buddy. You've got explosions on your back, I think. I guess that's... Okay, we're digging at machines. shadow shift maybe so actually um let's see um what do we got over here supply crate Fog. man i'm honestly not sure how to do this non-lethally i would love to figure out how to do this non-lethally if that's actually legitimately a path that you can take here. Like. But I don't think this game is set up for that. Except for me just. When you have a lot of space it's set up for that. Hence I don't ever fight dinos. Oh. Data point. Prophecy. The more we dig for the ancient Every machines, morning, the stronger we feel. I wake to the Our same nightmare. Soon. The same. Reality. Holy Meridian. In the hands of profligates. Based. The spire, towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure. But the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken. The profligates slaughtered. A true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this. I have become an instrument of prophecy. His voice sounds vaguely familiar. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sniping lore apparently. Okay, so we have a super crazy true believer Blasting who's 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 dreams sleep, can't 
thing. Whose dreams are clearly being controlled by an AI, which we kind of kind of determined earlier. We got over here some ceremonial armor. There's like a tree. There was a tree. Where's the tree? Where was the tree? There was a tree, I swear. Leaning tree. Stripped of wait, you're not giving me my leaning tree. Oh my gosh, I don't get to read the leaning tree. It might have been blue glass because I was trying to figure out if I recognized that voice from this game as opposed to that voice just in general. I wonder if I can whistle for this dude and then kill him without his explosive buddy. Or I could try to explode his explosive buddy, but then everyone's going to try to shoot me. Yeah, they want to kill people. You know, I don't want to do this representation of Meridian and Karja religious detailing. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait, another one? When I first set eyes on the Pyrrhic shadow, I trembled. Was I not the chosen of the sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness. Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. A whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than sun and faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn, for without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. So he finds something nightmarish and terrible and recoils from it, but the priests convince him that the shadow, it is necessary to help the shadow in order to help the sun. That makes the sense. Show us the way. No pity. Just one guy, come on. Come. come on, come on. I would drag his body out of the way if I could, but okay. Yeah, because we've got we know we know Hades is there corrupting people. Um we know there is a rogue-ish AI somewhere. Like there's 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 things we know. Um, but I, the thing that I, that I've talked about before, um, is that when people have visions, when people have prophecies, um, and those things come true or seem to be based in reality, you have to, um, you have to, if you're writing a story, you have to ask yourself and you have to decide for yourself whether the uh, audience ever learns or not. You have to decide for yourself what the basis for that is. Is there a deity? Oh. Um. Is there, in this case, some other intelligence that's able to use mind control? Um. And yes, that was really extra. I wanted to do something stealthy. And she's like, what if I, like, jump from above and crush his neck with my thighs? Um, which, okay. You know, the spire is super significant, and we know that just, just, just as we figured out that a king, um, had visions, and that led him to bear, to build what I, I think is, uh, is essentially, um, oh, what's it called? A uh, satellite dish of some sort. Um. Sorry, I'm taking inventory of, like, where dudes are. If anyone else is in sight, or will be in sight, if anyone else is walking around. I think I'm gonna let that tree down, but I don't know that I'm going to. Okay, is this guy gonna walk into sight range? Can I see him? No, nobody can hear me, okay. I'm gonna come out here and take this then. Just take his money. What else have we got? Where else have we got? Where have we got? Um. And because because sometimes like it can be that there's a prophecy and and coincidence and people are really really good at making sense 
at, um, at, at forcing patterns into things that perhaps do not have uh, actual patterns behind them, which from, you know, uh, I guess what one could call an atheistic perspective um, would explain kind of how prophecies and things like prophecies come true is that people, it's one part making it true and one part choosing to read, or maybe not necessarily choosing, but one part uh, reading things, reading into it and making sense, which, uh, which, which humans are very good at doing. Um, I think I should switch to my sniper arrows. Um, here, like, because we know of the presence of this artificial intelligence, um, we are able to have this kind of like ironic disconnect from what the characters in the game would know. Um, Aloy, because of the way that her brain thinks about things, I'm going to go for it. Okay, I did it. Um, because Aloy, um, the way that she thinks about things, she, hold on, I'm going to take out this guy over here. There's a guy over here, I swear. He's just talking to himself. Um, I had to take that guy who walks out this way out before I could get to this guy. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. They're going to make me feel bad for killing people for the first time. Anyone take a look at this corpse? Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. Um, okay, guys. Um, I'm going to stop you right now. If you continue to talk like that and troll, um, I'm going to ask the mods to, uh, to remove you. So please, please either, either chill out and join the community and act like community members. Okay. Or, there you go. I do try to give people chances. That's right. No one here. Maybe too often. Glad yes, no it that. may very well may have been just a one person with two accounts given the way they talked similarly, but here we got some guys over there. If the game makes me feel bad for killing these guys after establishing earlier that that is not a concern in this game. Um I might be a little bit frustrated. Because if you're going to uh establish like it's just good to establish the moral framework of your game if there's going to be one. And there's there's some that shelter. It's bigger than the others. There's an important boss. Find the tall neck, Aloy. There's no time to poke around. Shut up. There is if I make time. Yes. What is your problem? Silence has many problems. Okay, there's a guy over there. Let's see how I can do this. We are in search of knowledge. Like silence, we're actually solving problems instead of making them something you wouldn't understand. Okay. Cool. All right. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Someone slaughtered one of us. Yeah, that's. I mean, in a manner of speaking, that's that's true. Okay, so there's the boss. And he's gonna run around. This other guy's investigating. He's like, huh? That's weird. This person's dead. Wonder what happened to them. Maybe I should approach where they died. That's a good idea. It's not a good idea. I want this other guy to lose his question mark. Because then I can just take this Rost guy. Always said, patience. Yes, Rost is the one that we should have. Okay. We learned from Rost. Yeah, they're like, well, anyway, I'm sure that whatever killed our dude is not still a concern. Okay. Oh, I should probably actually put some explosives or something like this down for this guy. 
Because he's a boss. Oh, he's an archer. Does that mean he's got a gun, though? Because, like... What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I see you squatting there. I mean, fortunately, they don't seem to be... Hi, Jiro! Well, welcome! Thank you! Um, I, I apologize if this is, like, we're kind of... We're kind of deep in this game, so if Horizon Zero Dawn is not a game you know, um, I'm afraid this is maybe not the, the most, like, dropping by new, uh, thing. We will be doing, I will be doing some new, uh, some new games on Thursdays, um, soon. Hold on. Okay, so that guy's there. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh man, he's almost down, sorry. Okay. Um. Whew. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a binding operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. I don't like that pause. Another secret. Yeah. He's definitely up to something. Like, silence is so, like, transparently, like, withholding information from me that, uh, like... It's like he, like, studied the handbook of how to be an obnoxious double-crosser. Oh, look at that. There's some facts that I haven't gotten yet. Not facts. <laughs> I am sneaking into an enemy camp with it. Well, it has this, are you ever going to play Horizon Zero Dawn? Because if you are, there will be big spoilers here. If you're not, um, it's a great, fantastic game. Um, and there's a lot of stuff to investigate and piece together, so I'm all about that. Um, there's been some serious emotional, uh, content over the, over the game so far, too. Um, some really good stuff. Um, but right now we are, well, I was calling it a heist, but we're really here to destroy something, and I have been... It has been suggested. It has been suggested that this place? perhaps it's not a heist. Destruction. There are several data points. Is he trying to keep me from getting information on these guys? Is he trying to keep me from figuring out more about what's going on here? Oh my god. Silence. Here I was thinking you were just self-importantly trying to be controlling and have power issues. I didn't actually think that he was... I, I wonder if he's trying to protect himself, if he's trying to hide his own involvement. Okay, so this is one that I've gotten. Ident tags missing on verified format. <laughs> Data integrity unknown, yes. So this is a modern one. Um, oh man, my roommate plays Splatoon. Sophie, my cat, really likes to watch Splatoon. It's her favorite game to watch. My roommate has never played a Splatoon story mode before, so she's been sort of easing into Splatoon 3's story mode. Alright, there's a few more- wow, there's actually several more of these. Well, let's look at them. Alright, buckle up, folks. It is time for Lauren to get more story. Is this shame meaning silence is shame? Maybe so. Itamen coddled. That sounds like the boss. So long as King Itamen languishes at sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. A child. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a sun king must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Avad has a little brother. 
even if it's a half brother. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Bear with me here, folks. No, that's the wrong one. Bear with me. There is something, um, not these. It's uh, one of the scan glyphs, not Sunfall, not that. No, the liberation, here we go. Hold on. We're going to, uh, we're going to look at this because I do not remember all of the information that I should, but I do know there's significance about Avad's brothers. Okay, so. Okay, so. The Sun King's own favored heir was put to death, which was Avad's brother, who he says was better than him, if I remember correctly, because, because his brother didn't want to take part in this. So his brother died. Um... The Radiant Kataman's crime was to demand an end to his father's acts of bloodshed, and his sacrifice set that end in motion. So the oldest brother says, Dad, you need to stop this. And so the dad, had, the king, had him executed. At which Avad flees Meridian and goes to befriend the Osirim, who become his allies, which he then brings back to Meridian to free Meridian. Here's Ursa and Avad. Hold on. Kestrels and City Guard. Now we know what that means. I know who the Kestrels are. Hold on. We're still, I'm scrolling through here. Helis, oh, here we go. This is the guy who we're listening to. Helis, terror of the sun, cleaved a path through Meridian from east to west, striking down all in his way, ally and foe alike. Wow! The savagery of Helis and his kestrels could not be matched, and so it was that Idamen, his mother, the dowager queen Nasadi, and the high sun priest Bahavas escaped. I... I... <sighs> If the queen is opposed to the killing, which would make sense because there are three brothers, all of whom are opposed to killing, presumably they get that from their mother. And presumably because we, we, are, we, we are led to understand that Avad's father was not always a bloodthirsty menace, um, that, that a madness fell upon him and that's when the Red Raid started. Um, so, presumably, Jiran and Nasadi were good people who wanted to do right by their people and loved each other and raised their sons with a set of values to be good kings, good princes. And then Jiran loses his mind and starts committing heinous acts of, of of violence and brutality against against his own people and others um, and all of his sons are against him but then that makes me wonder why does Itamen and Nasadi like why do they join Helis and I think the implication here may be that uh, Helis did not give them any any choice in the matter um, given that he was willing to strike down all in his way, ally and foe alike, I could see him saying, this won't do, I will take you to safety. Because Avad would not kill his mother or his brother if his mother and his brother were not following his dad's violent ways. So in a way, then it would make more sense if they'd been kidnapped. Hmm. Yeah. There is there another one that has Okay, here's the Red Raids, the Osirum, the Hunter's Lodge, yes. Loose behemoths. Okay, no. Wait. I wanted to look. Fair-haired Kataman, Kataman of the Dawn's Rising, so degraded and doomed for the crime of standing against his father. Yeah, it sounds like all three 
of the princes were opposed to this. And now one of them is being held in captivity. I hope Helis doesn't kill the queen in a way of trying to force Avad's younger brother, who sounds quite young, to uh, toughen up. Oof. Why on earth would Silence not want me to know this? This is all just... I mean, this is all Karja politics and religious craziness. Meridian's Fall. Did we listen to this one? My lord, the 13th king of the Karja Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launched their assault, as their cannons forged by Asarom filth toppled the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end, but it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. That's going to be the AI. The buried shadow that wants to destroy everything. Either that or he's roused a machine. Here's one that I was able to snipe from over there. We're gonna keep going with these. Without pity, oh, this is not good. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this. But instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the chosen of the sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself or another. So he went mad with the loss of his wife and child. And the king gave him honor, and so he took that in, took that into himself um, in place of, of what he'd lost. And so in a way, if he were to lose this and admit that this is wrong, that would, that would unravel that and he would once again have nothing. <sighs> All right. Hi, Dark Puck. Wife, oh. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcome me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its... fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed, how its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. stretched beside mine seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. All 
already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Okay, so he had issues before the loss of his wife and child, I guess. Goodness. A mural of Meridian and the spire. So I'm trying to take a look at this and Aloy has decided to stick her foot on it. They are going to try to rouse a giant something from the spire and use that to take out Meridian. Are they gonna pull like Wrath of Kafka, Light of Judgment here? I wonder. Helis sure is a piece of work. I guess it's no wonder that the uh that the uh king liked him so much. Uh, in that case, I think he was talking about his wife and you. I think he's talking to his wife. This armor. There's only one man big enough to wear this. Helis. Is he the one who killed everybody, Aloy? This is his shelter. Not exactly fancy. What would you expect of a fanatic? His only extravagance is his brutality. Okay, so you're not okay. So you know him. Just enough to want to stop him. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Aloy just really doesn't like, um, silence. And who can blame her? Oh, here's a leaning tree. Leaning truck remains of stripped tree. Weak root anchorage. Okay, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna kick that over and then cross it. Man, I think I've gotten all of the lore there is to get here since I did it out of order, because that's how I roll. There were people who had, um, I don't know how you would do this without taking out enemies. Yeah, were they the ascetics? I'm probably saying that wrong, but you know. Okay, just trying to see. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you dropped by, Dark Puck. Helis is indeed a piece of work. No, well, so the, Sp I mean, the Spartans, I, I don't know that I would say that the Spartans were necessarily that. Like, there was a, there was a philosophy that was about stripping down to just the essentials as opposed to a philosophy that was about enjoying life. Um... Yeah, I didn't know that Ashley Birch could do a thing that I would like because Ashley Birch does usually do comedic things, which I don't like. Aesthetics, it is aesthetics. Okay, aesthetic, not aesthetic, but aesthetic. There's probably there's probably a better way to pronounce the difference there, but I I don't have it in me. So if somebody can help me with that. This is kind of cool looking though. When you walk up, it is very impressive and he is very tall. I had to stand up because well, Aloy is not a tiny person. Um, but this guy is over a head taller than her, so. Ascetic? Okay. Alright. Let's see what we're getting into. Oh. Alert. Irregular transmission source near. That doesn't sound good. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. Yeah, I was about to say. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tornick? Shut up, silence. I'm across. Won't be much farther. It might have been easy to drag a tornick down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. No. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Knowing why. There's a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I, uh, like the reason why they're doing something is at least as important as that they're doing it. Like that is essential intelligence. And if silence doesn't want that information, 
um, either he is, he either he already knows that information and therefore thinks it's, un, it's not essential, or he already knows that information and doesn't want Aloy to have it, or he's an idiot, frankly. And I would, uh, am I going to go up there? Am I supposed to climb up there? Or am I supposed to walk this way? I don't know. I'm walking this way. It, you do see, like, the, the damage that dragging something that big here would do. Like, I want to say he's, he can't possibly be so much of a fool that he genuinely doesn't think it's important to understand why people are doing what they're doing. Um, especially since taking down this thing wasn't even his idea to begin with. What? There's just a mess of wires here. What have they been doing? What have they been doing? Huh. Yeah, see, they've knocked over some trees. Just What are they trying to do? Why are they blowing it up? Is this what I'm supposed to be searching? Maybe. Oh, we're doing all right with time. I see it. They built some kind of structure around Oh. Climate. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. I'm going to go with Aloy on this one. And assume that there is something else that I need to be mindful of here. I don't see anyone or anything else here, though. Which is strange, honestly. Like, it is very odd that there is no one here. I assumed... I assumed that I would need to have another round of fighting of those dudes to get to this and then the boss would come out. This feels like it is very strange that they have done this. I wonder why there are two paths up, the climbing way and the this way. Okay, both ways require. Like, unless they've built this with the expectation that something, like, unless this is basically an offering of some sort that will entice someone or something to come, like, if this is bait that they think, um... I don't know. There was another way down, though. Or another way up, rather, down there. So I'm gonna go take a look at that, just to scope it out. Hope you guys will forgive me for taking a little longer. Silence is gonna be all blur, 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 blur. I'm a silence. I'm dumb and don't like anything. Okay. What is this? What is here? What is this? It's awfully strange to have a platform here that well, you know what? I'm gonna, just in case. Set this here. There we go. Which one is this? I don't know. Just, just in case. Look, if they're gonna set a trap for me, I might as well set a trap for them. Since I can't get blown up with those, yeah? Okay, I think that's all the trapping I'm gonna do. Hmm. There's these barrels. They're gonna blow this whole thing up. These barrels aren't an accident. These barrels are explosives. Well, they're flammables that are going to explode. They're gonna blow this, this whole thing. Which means they're gonna blow their own focus network up. So either they've got an alternative to back it up, 
or I don't know. Or salsa barrels. Yeah. That too. I see the module. This is gonna Club. blow. Now be quick. This isn't good. This isn't good. This is Hades. Aloy, this is not the time. A metal devil. Open the module's casing. Now. Oh! Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. No, 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 Aloy, Aloy, get up. Entity has come here. Aloy. Entity miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. The old one place the capitalism has Maybe not gone. You are. But this is it! Destroy the entity. Okay. Oh, good. That was very definitely a trap for me specifically. Get out of there, Aloy. Keep moving. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Down there, yeah, no. you think? Oh my god. What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Oh my god, Aloy, I love you. Aloy, you're the best. Oh shoot! Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna switch to uh, different clothing. Just, just, just. All right, everybody, just stop shooting at me. I need to change clothes. Uh. Oh good, this one protects against some stuff. This one protects against everything. I think I'm gonna get this. All right, let's try not to die. No way. This looks easy. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez! You like you can't stop to heal. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Jeez, okay, hold on. Can I run? Am I going the right way? Oh shoot! How do I get under there? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I'm done. Am I done? Yeah. Oh, the whole on high you don't say. Oh. Yeah, I noticed. Oh. Ah, we're dead too if you don't. Oh jeez. Jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I'm gonna regret this. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna heal. Oop. Thought maybe they might have. here for a minute. Oop. Okay, if I'm here, can I stay for a minute? Okay, hold on. 
Okay, what can I do? Is there a way that I can... Okay, that guy's... What can I do here? Oh shoot, okay, fun. I don't think it's how I'm supposed to deal with this. I'm sorry. supposed to go. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out which direction to go. Okay, here. Okay. Keep running. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. More clips ahead. Yeah, you don't say. Bridge in sight. Oh. That's the way out. Is this... No. Do I actually want to do this? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, we didn't leave things. Did I take, take too long? I could have taken them. I could have taken them, maybe. I was really low on healing items. I wonder if you get an achievement for that. The achievement that is the You Are Stupid award. Be like Lauren, why? All right, so Hades is hanging out there and he is a metal devil. Were they all intelligences like that? Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life. But it was the only way. For what? Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Yes. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. Oh my god, it I hate and you. crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest... Now that is a solid bedrock <laughs> upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. Ha ha ho. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, <laughs> we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable. Damn him. I don't know that I would call that a code. In fact, I would... If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it is. And zero dawn. So, uh, I'm gonna take a minute here. If that's alright. If you folks think you can tolerate that for a minute. Um, first of all, silence is garbage. Mutual self interest is a terrible foundation for a relationship because as soon as your priorities are in conflict with one another, that partnership is over. Um, and because there's not any like human connection or guilt or responsibility or anything like that, there may be very like absolutely no warning, and then the other person may completely turn on you. Um, so it's actually terrible silence. Um, trust is actually very important. It is a strength. There is something to be said for getting a sense for when to trust and when not to trust. Being careful about trust. But, uh, but trust is a much better foundation because trust... Trust can't be counted on 100%. That's true. 
but neither can anything else. There is no way you can possibly prevent any opportunities. Like, there's, there's no way that you can reduce the likelihood that somebody else is going to turn on you or hurt you to zero. You, you simply can't do that. Um, it just doesn't happen. And his, his, his foundation is not any better. Um, but it's very definitely a damaged person making, <laughs> making a worldview that he can feel is protecting himself and also let him, ex let him, lets him excuse himself for any harm he does to others. Um, so I don't know that, I don't know that I would call it a code. <laughs> I think I would call it a set of excuses, but perhaps that can be the definition of a code. Um, yeah, so silence is a terrible person. Uh, the thing is, if he told her that Hades was there, but that this was a thing that needed to be done, she might very well have done it anyway. Aloy, it does not run from danger. Um, I mean, maybe she would have wanted to investigate and, and get more information while we were there or try to see what she could do to take down Hades. Um, but I think she would have done it and I think we would have been in a better situation and she would have said, this looks like a trap. Which she kind of knew. And it almost feels like Silence wants her to walk into a trap. I, I will say, I will say, I mean, it's quite, it's quite apparent that we can't trust Silence. Unfortunately, Aloy doesn't trust Silence. Um, there is an overused stereotype in tabletop role-playing and in games, uh, like video games that are created by people who've played a lot of tabletop games, uh, wherein your quest giver at some point towards the end of the story betrays you and turns out to have been the big bad all along. Oh no, now we have to fight them, but they've screwed us over and they know all of our weaknesses and stuff. Um, it's a, it's, it's not my favorite. <laughs> it's not my favorite. Um, in this case, like silence, because like we straight up know we don't trust him from the beginning. Aloy doesn't trust him. He's not a quest giver in the traditional sense. Um, the thing with that is that it's supposed to be shocking because people like shocking, like, whoa, look at how clever it is, but you never saw that coming. Um, and a betrayal is an easy way to do that. Um, a poorly telegraphed betrayal is just bad characterization, not cleverness. Um, but, uh, but in this case, Fortunately, I feel like I have enough trust in the writers um, that if it turns out that Silence is actually a big bad who's trying to get this information so he can do something unspeakably horrible or whatever, um, and then we have to fight him, oh no. Um, I think that the game and Aloy, like, I think the game expects us to be like, oh my god, here it is. And Aloy will be like, obviously, you're not to be trusted. Um, so that's that. With lesser writers, I might not have that faith. I might think that they would think that they could somehow pull off like a, whoa, this person's going to betray you thing. Um, but I don't think they're going to try to do that. So we'll see what they do with Silence because they know we don't trust him. And perhaps they will mess with my expectations and understanding of things such that they can actually get me to trust him before they take that trust away. But I don't think that's what they're doing with it. Um... What was I going to do? They really want me to do these strikes things, but, uh, but other than a silent strike, like, I just, I don't use these. Can you, does this, you, do you pull a guy up? Or, like, do, can you pull, do you pull someone down? Is this what you do? Yeah, you do. Okay, that actually might be useful if I'm going to be fighting people, which I guess I'm going to be. Fast reload is nice. Oh, man, it has been a long time since I had enough Star Trek in my brain to remember the Romulan philosophies and politics. They were the bad guys for a while. I do know that. They and the Federation were opposed to each other for a while, right? Because I know, like, early, early, I think the Federation versus the Klingons at one point, um, but I feel like the Romulans were the bad guys, the big bads for a while. All right, uh, so we could do Combat Override, which hasn't been super essential yet. I also haven't been doing that much. I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to do a little bit more overriding, but I don't know that I need that. Um, 
ammo crafting is nice because I don't have to worry about running out of tear blast arrows, which are great. Strong strike and strong strike plus. <sighs> this is probably going to be useful at some point. I just, I don't, I don't double shot often enough to need triple shot. This one, this is literally the only game I've ever played that I'm not low health all the time. So this is not useful. Fast reload concentration plus, I, I've already got that one. Fast to reload while using concentration. Uh, maybe. Honestly, I'm going to go with this. I might regret that, but whatever, it's fine. Now. Go to Sunfall, they say. What's that little glowy blue bit? Is that anything? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I came out roughly where I where I went in. Unfortunately, there are stalkers here. Um, so I'm probably just gonna teleport away. <laughs> Cause I can. And why would I want to have anything to do with stalkers if I can help it? I keep running into them though. Um much to my dismay, I keep hearing the stalker music, but I haven't fought them, fortunately. Man, I haven't gone through here, have I? Why haven't I gone through here? What is this? Dimmed bones. Campfire. I've been there. I don't know what that was, but I've been there. But then there's these guys that I didn't do, so presumably I thought that was too hard at the time I went through. There's a bunch of these campfires I haven't been to. I'm supposed to go to Sunfall now. And I kind of just want to go to Sunfall. I've only fought them the once that it was story. I, want this. I figured there's got to be, a, they'll send me down there. Cause look at this. This looks like a very significant place. And surely, um, I mean, is it here? Game progression. I'm halfway done with the game. So, that means this isn't going to finish the game. So we can go there. This is going to be the end of the main story quest. We can go to Sunfall, which fortunately, I mean, fortunately we, we already teleported in. Ooh, do I want to come from here? Or do I want to come from here? Or do I want to come from here? Let's take a look. This is a corrupted zone level 34. I'm not there yet. I'd like to get this. This has me up on the high plateau. Then much closer. This is the closest. This is where I got yelled at coming to this vantage point. I went here. Shattered kiln. Okay, that's a bandit camp I did. Okay. At some point I'll finish bandit camps. At some point I'll finish bandit camps. And then I'll finish Nil's story but there's a few more bandit camps I haven't liberated but I'll get to them I'm just really into the big story right now I've done have I done have I explored Osram territory yet that's a good question I have been to an Osram um I've been to an Osram town and that was interesting but I haven't spent a lot of time among the Osirum. But I do have a friend who's an Osirum, and so um, I, I am inclined to be curious about getting to know more of them. They're the, they're more of that, are they the more of that southern space down there? Because we've only been to one Osirum. We've only been to one Ostrom town in the main story, um, and that was where, um, uh, the Blameless Maraud, where one of his spies had been killed and we had to track down what was going on there. Okay. I don't hear drums, so we're good. I'm going to save because that was a lot of stuff I don't want to have to redo. I just, I'm really invested in the main story. I mean, remember when I was complaining about the main story playing this game? Remember when I was like, they don't seem to be putting emotion and character into the main, that away. main story stuff the way they do the vantage points? 
Remember when I said that? Well, it's a very good game and it's better written, consistently better written throughout. Oh, look at that, a rock. Hell yeah, rocks, I like them. Okay, I think that means I have a full set of rocks. I am once more prepared. Save Firehog, oh my God, blue glass, that's terrible and wonderful. I appreciate it. Oh, 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 I'm not wearing the right clothes, hold on. We gotta put back on one of these days, I really should just go fight some Noposaurs now that I can fight Noposaurs and see if I can get what I need to get the higher level of this. Need them soon enough. Oh, hello. All right. We got some fire chocobos. Yes, I see. Okay. Yeah, well, I was I was mostly just doing little side questy things and hadn't gotten into the big story quest. And Aloy is very much an outsider, and so she, there weren't like friends that I was getting to know, and it felt like the characters that I was encountering. Okay, that's normal music. Um, the characters that I was encountering all felt like um, they were very like occasional like like in and out and then they were done as opposed to sticking around um i'm just gonna not um i'm just gonna not fight those guys because i don't have any healing items and that's gonna be a bit of a liability oh man okay i didn't have a full complement of rocks well i will work on getting a full complement of rocks um but it Okay, the music's gone back to normal. Okay, yeah, I just I'm I'm very nervous. I haven't yet figured out exactly the rules on how the music changing for stalkers goes, but I did notice that the music does change. Seemingly when a stalker is aware of you. So, oh shoot. There's more chocobos here? I don't want to deal with you. I'm just going to go this way. I bet this is just going to be like a nothing. I bet this is going to be like a cliff and I'm going to be like, oh, I can't do anything here. Um, yes, yes, we're all very impressed. Oh good, are those sawtooths? I think so. Okay, well, we're just gonna go down these dunes and hope for the best. Really stand to recover my healing items. Just not gonna deal with that guy. Um, but yeah, I kinda, I kinda, I kinda ate my words. Once we met um, Avad and, uh, oh, Mutton Chops, what's his name? What's Mutton Chops' name again? You know who I'm talking about? Aaron, thank you. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. Nope, 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 nope. nope. 
that's that's boss music. I understand now. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm just gonna run away. I might just teleport away. Okay. I think I also just didn't know how to play a game like this. Uh, so I, because you know me, you know that I, I tend to take my time and wander around. I'm really contrary as, as somebody observed when I didn't want to, oh, what is that? Watcher, Chocobo, Lance Horns. Okay. Those guys are basically sandworms, aren't they? All right, Mr. Chocobo, I think I can get around to you. Like they're moles. They're definitely moles if you look at their feet, but they are functionally in the world like s sand worm sand in my throat burns sorry Aloy but I think I might get us killed here by accident okay well we're gonna I, mean, I guess I could have just like jumped down some things here <sighs> at least there weren't stalkers yet all right well, we'll see if setting foot onto the dunes is what triggers the sand, sand guys to come for me. Please don't shoot me. Please don't see me. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I know, I know you're all chocobos. Everyone's very scared of you. I'm very scared of you. You're very scary. So scary. I am, actually. I have a healthy fear of them. That feels like a good idea. To be afraid of them a little bit, you know? So, like just gonna like cruise over here oh there's a tall neck oh there's a tall neck how far oh probably a bad idea to go after that tall neck right now oh man how oh jeez. okay well we're gonna just like hope for the best oh okay okay this does seem like what you're like that they've 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 prepared for the possibility that you might just stealthily stealth your way around here. Oh, shoot, turn around, please. Please turn around. Thank you. Yes, that's the spirit. That's what I would like for you to do. Thank you. Very good of you. Yes, I, I noticed. Those guys are so big. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of chocobos, but it looks like I can go around this way. I'm just, I'm kind of exploring the vicinity here. Uh. Oh, this is where, I wonder if I could have gone that way and that would have been less dangerous. To have teleported in and walk. No, because I would have. Oh, that's, that's, okay. The sandworm moles. Yes, I know they're very scary. I know, I know they're very scary. I want to turn to my right. And go this way. Oh, look at that. There's something, something very significant looking here. That's really cool looking. I want them to turn away. I know, yes, I know, I know. I should probably fight something, but I don't want to. Wow. Mm. 
this is gorgeous. And it's really interesting because every different, like, region, so to speak, has its own, like, norms as far as, like... I mean, obviously there's differences in architecture depending on, like, the culture that we're in. But also the way that the dangers are, like when I went to the, um, what are they called? Cold. When I went to the cold place, what was challenging there, they had lower level, at least in the, the entrance stuff. I didn't go to all the way to the DLC stuff. Um, oh, oh no. Folks. I haven't quite figured out what the piano means. If it means anything special. Well, if we get it killed by a stalker, we, we, we have saved. Yeah, so within in the at least the entry level Banuk territory. Okay, yeah, those guys are scary. Everything's scary. The, what was difficult was not the creatures themselves; it was the numbers of them. Um, here, there's a different, like there are different creatures. I need that healing item. I'm gonna go get it. I'm probably gonna regret this, but I'm doing it. Oh good, those guys are gonna do anything. Oh wait, that's not even a healing item. Shh, fire kill root. Oh, shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. There's a chocobo over there. How many chocobos? Oh, I was gonna say, if you're alone, I'm good. However, you have some buddies. Grazers. Okay, they're not so scary. But, and then, um, that, like, highland almost that we were in there, um, and then farther south, there's some sections that just have a lot of stalkers, which is a different kind of challenge, because you can't know what kind of you can't quite know what you're walking into in a way Oof. anyway sorry if anybody's like oh I want to watch somebody shoot a lot of things and then I'm just like over here doing this instead sorry this is just kind of I don't I guess I don't believe in a Fighting monsters because they're scary. Fire kiln root. What's nice is that when I'm annoyed with fire kiln root, I can s turn a swear into the word fire kiln root. Thereby not swearing on stream. It's great. It's very handy. That's why they named it that. For me. <laughs> How very thoughtful of them. All right. I am approaching the city at least. There sure is a lot of stuff around here. There's a Banuk figure. There's that, so I'll be able to teleport in eventually. Well, not in, but you know what I mean. Teleport back. Somebody did say that they, they were amused. I don't remember what, it was one of you folks said that you were amused by like just how far I can push the uh not fighting anybody and just trying to sneak past literally everything and that amused me it made me I still worry a little bit so all of this if I re if I if I remember correctly like this is just wind erosion this isn't apocalyptic Where are they? Okay. I can go get that healing item. If I die horribly getting that. Is that a healing? Is that even a healing item? Let's watch it be something else. Yes! It's medicinal! Yes! But yeah, this I believe. Oh! 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 That's the Banuk! Okay, let's go get the Banuk thing. This might be a bad idea. 
Oh, there's quests in the city. Quests in the bad guy's city. Interesting. Okay, let's do this. Let's go follow the ongoing saga. Sunfall. Oh. The Mad King Drawn Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. I knew that because I already read books. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, he's going to use this knowledge in ways that I'm not going to approve of. And then I'm going to have to fight him. And I'm going to punch him in the throat with my spear. Can you do anything here, Aloy? There's got to be something you can do. Can you? I'm not seeing anything I can do here. Aha! Fortunately, Aloy is not as limited in her imagination as I apparently am. Where? Oh my god, Aloy. Okay, no. Okay, I thought she was going to go all the way over there. There we go. Okay. Aren't you proud of me for not Skyrim horseying my way up this one? I'm doing what you're supposed to do. Ooh, Aloy. My god. I liked her comment about the brave trail uh, when I was uh, escaping from those guys. Well, from the everything, really. Do I throw myself across there? I guess I do. Okay, that's the jump button, right? Oh, geez, I didn't think I was gonna make that and I was concerned. Okay. Oh my god, they're like, hey, we need you to appreciate how incredibly cool she is. Yeah, I, well, I Skyrim horse my way up a lot of things, partly because I don't like to fight things, um, which involves taking a lot of side sideways paths <laughs> and things that are maybe not the, uh, not the intended approach. But they definitely want you to have this incredible experience here. I bet getting to that guy involves going past one of those rock breakers. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'll let you guys show me. You're super cool. Stuff. Hoop. Uh, sorry, I can't help. I also... Uh, lean forward like it'll help her jump better. <laughs> All right, let's pick up the Banuk artifact and I will read this one for you out loud. Some kind of figurine. I think it's Banuk. Yes, yes it is. Oh, we're missing one before this. All right. The Vision. Tektuk. Falsely accused, exiled, starving, and cold, I faltered. This I confess. As the death chills overcame me, I lost will and purpose and felt the bottomless callousness of fate. But then a vision. I saw in my mind's eye an endless white plain with only a single figure waiting. It was you. And I knew in death, if not in life, I would see you again. When the chills faded, I rose with new hope. I paint my mark here for you in anticipation of our meeting and leave you this offering, though it will never touch the warmth of your hands. So as much as um, the vantage point storyline is a, a child recounting the story of his family in honor of his mother, um, which is, is beautifully paralleled in Aloy recounting her adventures to Rost, which we should probably go back and do at some point um, when we get our next, uh, our next um, uh, fire, save fire. Maybe we'll teleport there just to report in and then come back. Um, in a way, this Banuk story is kind of the reverse, but it's still very much about family, about leaving your mark on the world. Um, and trying to leave a connection to someone that you love even if they will never even if they will never see it 
because in the case of both Rost and our vantage point tour guide, um, the person that they're speaking to is is is, is gone. I mean, here Tektuk is is basically going on a one last quest towards death, um, and leaving these things that that his child will never see or or hear, um, at least as far as he knows. Um, but it's still worth leaving, and I find that very interesting. That the 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 assertion through this game on multiple levels that something is worth doing, telling your story, sh sharing, like 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 telling the story of the one you love is worth doing, even if you're going to die, even if they're going to die, even if everyone's going to die. There's still a there's still a reason for it. Like, it's still reason enough. It's still worth it. Um, and thereby kind of, I think, asserting to some degree that there's a reason for living altogether. Um, we'll see kind of what they do with that as we go on. And yes, when I play driving and games, I absolutely steer with my body. It makes you drive better. I also make sound effects when I'm driving a real car. So look. And yes, quote 1211, Hojo is bad. That's what I have to say about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh man, okay, so an endless white plane with only a single figure. So in this game, visions, as we've discussed earlier, can be something sent by an AI, for example. Um, but I don't think this is that. I think this is more what we would think of as a vision sent by supernatural forces or just our mind. But that's interesting. Well, I feel like this game and, um, oh, where is this going to put me down? Oh, that's going to be exciting. Right into a, a corrupted zone. Sweet. I might just teleport. Well, let's go down. What's the worst that can happen? We die? This game makes me think thematically of the Talos Principle, which deals with a, with some very, very similar situations and themes, um, down to its Listen storytelling. To back down before I do. Being the 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 like being found storytelling, where you where you find artifacts and pieces left behind by others from the past, rather than engaging in present story. Now, in this case, you also engage in present story. Um, but I think I can go down here and not die. If you haven't yet played Talos Principle, I historically don't like puzzle games and I'm terrible at spatial reasoning. I'm sorry to everybody, you've heard this a billion times, but I loved Talos Principle so much that I overcame an entire lifetime of being so bad at spatial reasoning that like all of my like childhood brain assessments you know when when they when they test you for various things um when you're in elementary school would be like lauren is not good at uh lauren is not good at spatial reasoning but tell us principle is really good so if you like the kind of storytelling and story and 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 emotional content of this game and would like to see something else exploring similar things asking similar questions and i think reaching compatible answers may i recommend the talos principle i've joked that i should have a, a button like a loom style button that says ask me about the talos principle because i'm like its loudest fan i've decided um One of these days I'm going to run out of wood and I will be very confused. Pretty sure this is going to be a really bad idea. That's okay. I've had bad ideas before. What was that sound? My focus is receiving another signal. Tall neck. Tall neck. Right. The tall neck sending out the signal. Rust wash. Interesting. So these must be Karja structures. Are you enemies? 
You probably are, actually, at this point. You probably eclipse soldiers. Maybe I should not. Although, actually, a lot of times, like, random patrolling NPCs are there not for you to fight with them, um, but so that they can get killed by enemies to uh, let you see that the situation is serious and to give you some time to run away. Pretty sure those are Eclipse soldiers. But just in case. They're not targetable with a focus, which I think means they're not our interact interactable. Um, probably shouldn't just be running like this. It's probably a bad idea. I'm hearing sounds. Some of it, of course, it's just the soundtrack. Oh, hello, what are you? I need to get up to the tall next head. Ravagers, those are pretty scary. Yeah, Shadow Karja, also known as the Eclipse, one way or another. Bad guys. Bad news. Okay, how am I going to get up to you? That is a good question. Oh, I know that bird, that tweeta tweeta tweeta? Tweeta tweeta tweeta? I know that. Okay. Looks like there's a platform over there. I might have to go around the long way, which may involve a rock. Breaker, not a rock biter. Rock biters are different. Rock biters are from the never ending story and they are your friends. Rock biters are your friends, by the way. If you didn't know that rock biters were your friends, now you know. Who here is familiar with the never ending story? Yes, Chrono is here. No, the level of care put into the animation, the writing, the music, just. It's a masterpiece, honestly. It's, 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 it's a masterful game. I feel enormously privileged to have been... Oh, look at those guys pacing around all creepily. What are you? What are you? It's not just me. Something was th that. That's a bellow back. That's a that's a bellow back, isn't it? Those are multiple bellow backs. That's a watcher. I'm gonna have to actually fight some stuff out here, aren't I? How hard are ravagers? I'm under the impression they're really hard. whole bunch of Nobosauruses. I mean, I guess I could put down some explosions. I could try to blow them up. Because I'm pretty sure that, like, just as uh, the um, Sawtooths are... I'm pretty sure... Yeah, because there's, there's Scrappers, Sawtooths, and Ravagers, I think, are all three. Ra Ravagers are like the ultra super, super hardcore hard version of the, uh, the Scrappers because they, they take things. Oh, what is this? Tall neck rust wash. Okay, okay. There's a horsey. We could get some Pringles if we wanted. This might be a bad idea. Maybe I should have come from that angle. Maybe that would have been better. Maybe that's a better choice. Or maybe there's stalkers that way. The question is going to be getting over to where the tall neck. Like, I think that the spot for jumping up, it's either going to be where the watcher is pacing Or it's that tower over there. Because, I, yeah, it's not going to come close enough here for me to be able to jump on it. It's so interesting that, like, you could potentially... And, like, I don't know for sure. But you could potentially go through part of this game, or, or maybe even the entirety of this game, not knowing 
that the uh, the tall necks presumably are what's the word reflecting the uh, that's a that's a hyena that's a hyena but like giant that's like a giant hyena um, that they're sending something from a those uh, the satellites like the one that we found in the Banuk blue light. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna take that guy out. He's a red eye watcher, though. Oh, there's a couple of red eye watchers. Okay. All right. Good. Great. Wonderful. I love it. Don't you love it? Yeah. Once we rappel down from the tall neck, we can teleport out of here. Oh, good. There's chocobos over there too. Sweet. <sighs> Nothing I love more than this. Okay. I'm gonna do this and hope for the best. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Nothing to see here, any of you. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm just I'm just non-existent. Like what's what what's an Aloy? There's nothing here. There's no Aloy, no creature here. Can I drop this guy in one hit? Cause he's a red eye watcher. And if I can't, that's gonna be bad news for me, because everything else is gonna come and kill me. I think I don't know that I can jump from here. I think I might want to go through. Oh, that's true, I do have double arrow, don't I? Amazing. Okay, hold on. Okay. Alright, but that guy's over there. I don't want him to see. Okay. I just, I feel like taking out this guy gonna be a good idea for me because I think I might I don't know actually I don't know that I'm gonna be able to make that jump from there but it kind of looks like I might be able to I don't know why I've decided I'm gonna get this tall neck but I want this tall neck okay so I think you hit that button man the whole earth shakes they're really majestic creatures Shoot, that was wrong. I thought that, oh, am I using, oh, I'm using the wrong bow. Shoot, no, I am using the right bow. Wait, I don't understand. How, I thought I, thought I had a double arrow. Do I not have a double arrow? How do you double arrow? How do you double arrow? Hold on, we're gonna take a look at this. How do you double arrow, double arrow, double arrow? Use R1 while aiming. I thought I did that. That's this one right here. That's the hit with your spear thing while aiming. L1. I tried, I thought I tried both of them. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Okay, I got it. All right, we're gonna try this again. Fortunately, no harm, no foul. Dude overlooked me. Oh, I don't want that guy to see me. Go away, please. Go away, please. Go away, please. Bye, buddy. Yeah, that's the spirit. Where are you, my friend? Come on, buddy. You who? Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm going to take this guy out. God, the music is really having a time here. Okay, sweet. One down. Now the question is, am I gonna have to take that out? Oh, that guy. I'm gonna have to take him away. Oh. The sun's headed for the west. Keep my guard up. Are things gonna get harder because it's nighttime? I guess we'll find out. I think I might have to take that, that other little guy out. What are you? Oh! You weren't here before. You're just a regular watcher. You're not even a red-eye watcher.
Oh, shoot. Okay. Cool. Got it. Okay. Okay. The watchers are down. Nothing to see here, anyone else? Everyone else? Nothing? Nothing to see here. How do I get up there? There's gotta be a way. Actually, there doesn't have to be a way. There might not be a way at all. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, let me see what's happened. I'm pretty sure there's chocobos through here, which I'm gonna be really sad about. But we're gonna, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, yeah. Oh shoot. What do you, no. Who's freaking out over there? The Bellowbacks. There's nothing to see here, guys. There's absolutely nothing to see here. Nothing for you to worry about. That looks like that might be a path. These guys are just being mad. Please stop. Please stop. What's that? Is that the guy? Yeah, it's the guy I smashed. All right, Chocobo. Oh, what? Highlight the track. Yes, there's all these chocobos. Can I override you? Overriding one of you guys might make my day a bit better. On the other hand, it might make my day dramatically worse. Wait, what are you, your bellaback? I've been saying I should fight more bellabacks, but I'm not sure this is what I meant. Please stop, you're making me nervous. So I don't like those guys. All right, so I think actually that, I think this is the place I wanna be. So I wonder, the thing is if I fight this guy, I'm gonna have to fight everybody. Oh my God. Sorry to be taking so long with this, but uh, Nothing to see here. What are you? What are you? You're not nothing to see here. There's literally nothing to see here, guys. So nervous here. Wait. What took damage over there? Did they get stepped on? Did they get shot by their own friend? Oh shoot! Oh shoot, oh shoot. There's nothing to see here, guys. Oh God. Oh God, we're gonna have some trouble here. I'm gonna make some fire arrows just in case because those are good to use against these guys. Nothing to see here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you. Please come over here. Can I can I throw a rock for you and just you? No, I can't. Okay. How do I get sneakily over to that patch of grass? Can I? You're going. You're facing that way. You're facing that way. You're facing this way. Are you a watcher? No, you're a chocobo. Oh my god! It's all chocobos all the time. And hope for the best, hope for the best, hope for the best, hope for the best. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. Nothing to see here, buddy. Nothing to see here. Oh, that's my rock. Can I override you? Can I override you? Can I override you? Yes, I can. This might make life slightly better for me. Go on. Go start some trouble. Preferably not by me. Oh God. Oh God, he's gonna set me on fire. Oh God, not me. Not me. Not me. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot.
Okay, 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 now what do I do? How do I do this again? I don't... Okay, here we go. Okay. How do I get up there? Oh, Jesus. Please don't kill me. Oh my god, sorry. Sorry, I, I know somebody's trying to talk to me, but uh... Alright. Okay. <sighs> Amazing. I kind of YOLO'd it a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just gonna ride this around for a minute. Reveal map, skill points up. That guy's like, huh? I think I see something up there. Okay, well we're gonna do this and then we're gonna teleport out. I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna run. Stocking up. Yep. Okay, now we're gonna teleport out of here. Although I could just run that way and then teleport out of here. Yeah, we're gonna run for it. Nothing to see here. Oh shoot, oh shoot. No, never mind, never mind, never mind. No, you're gonna run. You're gonna run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Then. Am I going even going the right way? No, I'm going completely the wrong way. Turn to the left. Holy sh... I don't know what's going on over there, but it's probably a bad idea for me to be running. But we're going to teleport out of here. I just really want to... I want to get um that teleporting ability. Oh, look. Birds, yay. Everything's like, huh? What's she doing? I'm going totally the wrong way. Glint Hawks, cool. I love them. Don't charge me, don't charge me. They're gonna charge me. Still going the wrong way. Okay. No fire and kill route. Oh jeez, I actually went so far out. Because running actually you cover some serious ground. Huh. Running is working better than I uh than I thought it would. Crazy. Campfire discovered. Okay. You can just, like, run around a lot. Did you know that? Did you know you can just run around? Did you know that? Did you know you can run? Legitimately run places? Oh, cactuses! Sweet! Cool. Oh, there's stuff here. Wait, there's a cube. Did you see there was a cube? Did you see the cube? Did you see I'd the have cube? To ditch something. Oh, okay. There's a cube. Where is that cube? Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Thank you, Heathen War Council. That's a really sweet message. I appreciate it. Thank you. Where was the cube? There was a cube, wasn't there? On my map, right this way. Down here. This way. No, I guess it's up there. Well, I was gonna go to Sunfall today. 
no, I think it is, I think it is extremely important to remember that you do, you do matter. Simply by virtue of being you, you matter. And I think a lot of times we feel like we kind of have to earn our keep, so to speak. But, uh, that's not actually true. So thank you for the reminder, friend. Because that is something that I believe in very strongly, too. There is something around here. But where? Is it down or is it up? Okay, so we go down a little bit. See what's up. Oh! 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 I found it, I found it, I found it. Okay, it's just gonna be an ad or something, but let's take a look. Do your part. Let's do it. You ready for some more lore, friends? Let's do it. Oh my God. If I have to listen to that rancid do your part for Zero Dawn song one more time, I swear I'm going to stab out my eardrums before the melody can fester in my ear canals. It is not inspiring. It is not stirring. It is dreck that makes me want to kill myself before the robots even get a chance. I would literally give my life right now to kill the asshole who composed that goddamn thing. Ugh. Can't this apocalypse at least have a decent soundtrack? Can you imagine being in the apocalypse, knowing you're living through an apocalyptic situation? <laughs> Humans gonna human, people gonna people. It's interesting that, um, I mean, this is clearly propaganda. Uh, Do Your Part for Zero Dawn, that's definitely a propaganda song. Um, yeah. So I don't know if Drek first entered popularity through, because it's one of the Shadowrun slang uh, terms. I don't know if it's commonly used outside of cyberpunk and those who are inspired by cyberpunk, but they have had a kind of, they've kind of leaned into some of that um, language in this game. Um, but uh, so even though it's like a, a fairly common word, I think now, like I do think that that was at least an origin of its popularity. So I think that that's a nice choice given the nature of this game. Um, but this is pretty funny. But it also tells you how, first of all, that there is enough pop culture to still be making music that can get played like on a radio or in situations where a person can't 100% control what they listen to. Um, so there are resources still being put into music. And granted, this is propaganda music, so I think that's a little bit different. Just as we saw the people having their letters home be censored. Um, for the sake of buying time for Zero Dawn. Like, it feels like everybody has gotten on, like, all the, all the decision makers have gotten on board with the necessity of making this happen, even if they don't know what Zero Dawn is, um, which presumably they don't. I assume that the people who actually know what Zero Dawn is, um, is a very, very, very small number of people, because if it gets out to the general populace, it would be catastrophic. Um, and so it would have to be people that you absolutely could trust, would not talk about it. Because um, all it takes is one person. Although I guess you could say, no, that person's a nutcase. That's not actually what it is. For anyone who's watching me for the first time, um, so I don't, I, I try my best to avoid spoilers and generally back, avoid backseating. Um, because what I, part of what I like to do is, is puzzle together the story and things and figure out what's going on or be surprised by things as they happen. Um, but with this one, because it's very much a puzzle that gives you pieces and then you assemble them as, before the game then tells you what's going on. I have had this running theory for a pretty long time at this point, actually, of what I think Zero Dawn is um, and what I think the apocalypse like really what Mother's Cradle is and how that relates. Um, but I'm fairly certain that Zero Dawn is the thing that's calcified. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but basically calcified all organic material on the planet um, until such time as presumably the self-replicating robots um, could no longer function. And then things happened um, that set up the metal flowers to place 
flowers, or well, repopulate the earth with plants. Presumably something to do with the machines would be my guess. Repopulates the earth with animals. That's the one I'm not sure on. And then you have the mother's cradle and perhaps other things like that from which uh, humanity reemerged at some point. Um, we'll see. <laughs> um, but that's definitely, you don't want to let people know that your cure for everything is going to result in literally everyone and everything alive right now dying. And it is going to kill everyone and everything alive. Um, so that perhaps in the future there can be a future instead of a dead planet that has been consumed. Which is actually, consumption without end is a pretty common science fictional villain like there's a f I think a few super villains from Marvel, maybe DC, I don't know, but like that that like they go around eating planets. It's cuz um so when I had my friend in town, we went to the ROM, the Royal Ontario Museum. And, uh, and it's interesting because I, I, since I, I, I wasn't born here, I didn't grow up here, there's a lot of history that like I kind of know in general, but not specific. Um, and so we went to, um, we went to an exhibit that was about um, First Nations people, um, indigenous people, like kind of like earlier culture and then like, like settler um, invasion and, uh, and like that kind of fraught relationship. Um, and it was trying, I think, to understand and, and to acknowledge the damage that was done there. Um, but there was a there was a phrase about the settlers um, by I think it was one of one of the indigenous leaders um, who was was talking about uh, fearing that they would be like like a, basically like a plague of grasshoppers descending on like descending on the 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 plants and, and to consume every leaf and leave nothing for the future, um, and that that's a fear. Um, and, I, and I do actually think that um, that's kind of, that's what's, what's been perpetuated w with a lot of this, this like, somewhere along the line, human culture got broken, like human society got broken in certain sections, and then they went around and took over everyone else. And they were very effective at taking over other people's cultures, partly because um, they got really good at ki killing. Um, but, um, but there's a lot of cultures that have a respect for the land and an understanding that if we take everything now, then there won't be anything for tomorrow. That if we, if we cut down all of the plants now, then there won't be plants to grow for next season. Um, because that's a child does not make that connection. A child does not realize. A child has to be taught. You have to leave some behind so that you can have something for tomorrow. Um, but adults are supposed to know that. And yet so much of our culture as a, the, of, of, the, of the dominant culture in a lot of Western society has that, is, is ruled by at least people who have that mindset because the people in power, yes, um, but also you get like people like um, that's one of the biggest problems with with venture capitalists with um, with the idea of, of having uh, having corporations be beholden to their boards to constantly have to grow, 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 grow indefinitely. Um, and people will buy into a company and then try to sell it and jump ship. And so they don't care about the, like, the long-term health even of their own company, let alone of the community that they're part of or the people who make up that community. Um, the number go up, but it's number go up short term. It doesn't even work in the long term. There was, and I think I've mentioned this before on stream, an interview that I'd read with a freight shipping company that was investing really, really heavily in uh, green technology and trying to find solutions even very expensive ones to kind of the, the environmental crisis we're running up against. And people were kind of expressing surprise and they were like, look, yes, this costs a lot, but you know it would cost more? The world dying. So if we could just not kill the world, then we can still have a company. <laughs> and even if we want to make money, like that's going to stop. And uh, I don't know. I feel like that the, when I when I when I read somebody, you know, what two hundred years ago, talking about um, this, we're being worried that the settlers 
we're going to be like grasshoppers consuming everything and leaving nothing behind for tomorrow. I mean, that's like kind of literally what a lot of the dominant culture um, and a lot of these uh, these countries, uh, that's what they do. It's, it's true. That's terrible. Um, and I like that Horizon Zero Dawn wants to make us think about that. If you haven't thought about it before, if you haven't talked about it before, Horizon Zero Dawn is going to tell you things. It's going to, it's going to educate you on some things. It's going to ask you some questions. And it's going to show you some really scary stuff that might happen. And yeah, you get to shoot dinosaurs. And it's real cool. Um, but they're saying something with it. And I really respect that. In a game this big. Because, like... Like, is this a AAA game? Or is this something similar to a AAA game? I don't know, people get really, uh, almost aggressive in talking about that when I ask that question. Um, but I don't know that the, uh, I don't know that the advancement of technology has let us stay ahead of the curve pretty well. I guess, I guess the thing is, like, I think that somebody has always paid the price, but the people who are making the decisions have always been able to look away from the price that's being paid until now when the price that's being paid is so big that even the people who have insulated themselves from having to even acknowledge or see consequences, um, it is getting harder and harder for them to hide from it. It is getting harder and harder for them to, to not see it, to deny it. Um, it, it, so it's, it's not the technology has kept ahead of the curve. It, it, is, it is that the people making decisions have been insulated. They've been able to insulate themselves and they can no more. They, they are no longer able to do so. Some of them are still trying, though. Uh, amazingly, they could be literally on fire and would still not see it, it seems. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, so that's... Yeah, well... Triple A usually when they when they when they if if it especially in the games industry I feel like if if a, if a triple A thing tries to tackle something they're going to kind of softball it they're going to they're going to pull pull back at the end they're going to not quite commit to it or make it okay um, Final Fantasy VII remake actually did a pretty good job of going all in on the stuff that it was going all in on um, but it was less the point of the game, even though Final Fantasy VII Remake is about a bunch of eco-terrorists trying to stop the destruction of the planet, um, one of whom, uh, sorry, spoiler, um, but like one of whom has 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 suffered in, in their family due to corporate negligence, um, things that specifically pop up in this game as well. Um, like... It's kind of like they put that in there as the backdrop, and because it's the backdrop, they can get away with it. Well, meanwhile, we have this great character drama. Whereas here, like, this is the point of the story, <laughs> in a way. Um, you know? Uh, but it's pretty remarkable. Interestingly, um, I want to talk a little bit about Talos and comparing Talos to Horizon Zero Dawn, but I don't want to totally spoil Talos. Um... But I will say, Talos leaves some questions unanswered, um, so it doesn't it doesn't have the blame on humanity for things going wrong. Um, its interest is in the goodness and the sweetness and the love within humanity, the best of us. But it doesn't. So it's very loving, um, and and it's beautiful and it's inspiring. But it doesn't really. It doesn't really lean into the worst of humanity the way Horizon Zero Dawn does. And I, I would say that that is actually a strength of Horizon Zero Dawn's. And depending on the purpose, I wouldn't necessarily, it's a weakness of Talos' principle because that game is trying to do something else. Um, but I, 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 do think, uh, I do think that the world needs this more right now. So we're good. We're good. Um... Well, I got... I got some lore, and I came down here. That's interesting that that lore was just like literally in the middle of nowhere. Like nothing here. So I'm trying to see if there's healing items because I'm low on healing items. But I will eventually get them back. And I can just teleport up now that I've gotten 11 billion, oh, hello. 11 billion campfires that I just activated. Saving these for the trail. 
But yeah, so that's so that's interesting stuff. And I may bounce on Discord to talk more about that because I can spoiler tag stuff. Um, again, a reminder, if you go into the stream chat or game chat, um, but even in stream chat, try to mark your spoilers and spoiler tag your spoilers, even if it's for games that I've played, just for the well-being of other folks who are in that channel who maybe aren't watching me play this game because they don't want it to be spoiled for them. Um, and we can have conversations. You just put the little spoiler tags around it. Does that make sense? You okay with that? Oh, I managed to come back up here, kind of. Oh, cool. Oh, I guess, yeah. Okay. Oh, I always see. All right. Well, maybe I'm just going to make this the, like, Lauren gets the rest of her, uh, her campfires. It's a very, very good game that I love very much. Some people, um, played it on my recommendation and got very frustrated with it. It is not an easy game, um, and I part of how I managed to to get what uh, what I did out of it was because as as I was streaming it, I could oh hello, hello you're scary oh my gosh you're really big, right you're really big, um, I could get customized hints from people who are watching me stream, um, which is not an experience that everybody has and certainly cut down on my own frustration. Um, that would likely not have been, uh, I would have probably had a much harder time of it, left my own devices. My memory wasn't as bad then as it is now, um, but even so, there were some, I, there were some things that I consistently overlooked that folks were able to help remind me and so on. But it's really cool. It's very cool. It's an extremely, extremely cool game. Okay, so we're gonna go around this hill, crest this hill. Probably get into some trouble here. There's a giant cat down there. I'm scared of all these things. Class cabinet! Oh hey friend, what have you been what have you been instructing on? Class cabinet is like, let's talk about things with games. In like a hold on, I'm trying to get. I thought it was, did I go, I went the wrong way again, didn't I? I went the wrong way again. Oh, my sense of direction is not very good here, clearly. What have you folks been up to? I totally went the wrong way. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, well. Hopefully I won't die. Hopefully I won't die. I'm just going to try to get, just going to try to get another, uh, Another campfire. I like having the campfires because then I can teleport, which is really helpful. Teleporting makes it less scary because you're like, worst case scenario, I can get out of here and come back if I need to, which is really useful strategically if you're a little bit ridiculous, which uh, I might have been accused of being once or twice in my life. Man. Oh shoot, God, that guy's big and scary. God, they're so big and so scary. Alright, campfire. This campfire doesn't actually seem to be super scary. Like, there's things around, but they're not killing me. Fortunately. Well, hello, what have you guys been up to? I'm, a. Uh, I'm digging into the story of Horizon Zero Dawn, a most excellent game, which if you haven't played it, please do not let me spoil it for you, but I will tell you it's really good. Did I get that? I did get that. Yes. Did I throw that rock or did somebody else throw a rock? Maybe somebody else threw a rock. Okay. So that's big bad news, but look at, look at how many, look at how many Look at how much teleporting I can do. Oh, there's another little housey. Oh, dear. Oh, there's like a town. Oh. Huh. Huh. Now I see these are connected. Interesting. That's over by some snap moths, but I think I can take snap moths at this point. All right. We did pretty okay. We're going to teleport back here. We're gonna do this. And maybe maybe we'll approach. 
Maybe we'll approach it. How does that sound? We'll approach it. Because we're running, we're running right up on time. You know? Yes, I did override a tall neck. Which is very exciting. Whatever, that was a good one. That was a fun, that was a fun tall neck experience. It helped, even though the things around it were super scary, probably scarier than in your, your average, um. Oh, do we want to see what its message says? Yeah, let's do that. Um, hold on. We got another one of those. Hold on, I'm going to mark those as, as viewed. Because we viewed them, we listened to them. Hold on. Oh, there's two of these I haven't looked at. Oh. 20 and 21. Okay, well, so 20. Orbit 7x51 initiated. Cycle 81111. I don't know how many years that is. Routing query sent. No response. G prime. I'm really curious what G prime is. Human interference detected. Human interference detected. Ping inert agents. 41 out of 45 dormant. Human interference detected. Human interference detected. Orbit 987, 9B7 initiated. Cycle 808225. Routing query sent. No response G prime. Ping inert agents. 27 out of 31 dormant. Again, there's a difference between a dormant... I don't know. This is the first one we've seen human interference detected, and that sure is a lot of human interference detected, isn't it? That's exciting. Wait, was one of these... Did I get one of these when I overrode the... Um, one of these is the one that I got at the, um, the most recent plot site. I think it must be this one. So I think this is the one that I just got, but this one has human interference detected. But the cycle for this, if the cycles are days, it's old, older than the rest of them. Oh, right. This one was a cauldron. Interesting. Observer log. Sigma, Rho. But those aren't all the tall necks. There's more tall necks. Huh, I don't know what those are then. If they're not days. Tall necks, rust wash. I did these. There's four of them, but there are more of them. I think, yes. No? Actually... That might, uh, no, there's one that I haven't gotten. <coughs> and this one is in the DLC, so it doesn't count. Interesting, though. Very interesting. Oh, man. Is this a healing item? I'm trying, I'm really trying to recover my healing items. I, I used a lot of them. Possibly being a little bit silly. I might have been slightly silly during that uh, during that that fight. I might have been a little bit. Uh, what's the word? Oh, did I teleport to the wrong one? Oh, I did teleport to the wrong one. Whoops! I meant to teleport to this one. Yeah. Well, there's there's two tall necks left, but there's there's tall neck and cauldron lore. Because the cauldrons and the tall necks are included in the same place. Um, which is interesting. Um, so, because it, it looked like it was all tall necks and then all cauldrons, but, um, but I know there's more tall necks, so I don't know. Cauldron. Okay, here we go. This is the right one. Okay. Oh, there's a quest right outside. Let's go do that, shall we? There it is. Hope we can sneak past whatever there is here. I did nothing. There's enemies afoot. 
I do not see them, but that does not mean they are not here. I hear ominous music. Yay, I'm getting some healing back. All right. We're going to continue our uh, approach. We will presumably get a quest and have like a, now you are at the place. Oh, this is gonna be fire kiln root, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh man. Oh, fire kiln root. Why must you do this to me, friend? All right, let us go see what this quest is, shall we? Fire kiln root. I do keep almost swearing. Abbas, that is a new person. Campfire. Let's do this. Hello, person. You look like you're sneaking in here, too. Let's be friends. Let's be sneaky friends. She's very pale. Oh. Is she unwell? Oh, no. Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her <sighs> won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana, my sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's difficult. His soul is in shadow. Oh dear. His soul is in shadow. Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Bad trait in a healer. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Hmm. Shh. I'll keep the moon from your brow. This ceasefire is baffling. All right. How can you just decide not to strike back against the usurpers? There's a lot going on here. Yesterday, I found a bunch of mushrooms and... I had to hand them all over to the soldiers. Didn't even get to taste them. So these are the refugees who are therefore um, enslaved. But what are they? Are they refugees from Meridian? You look well fed. Yeah, I, I will stand out here. There's some expensive looking things there. All right. I'm gonna just go up to the campfire and save. Is Silence gonna get mad at me for this? Am I gonna get in trouble? The only thing this ceasefire will accomplish is prolonging our exile. Campfire, yeah. Isn't hunger supposed to keep you sharp? I keep forgetting what I was doing. Yeah, they're not doing super well down here. Which we knew. Okay, so they don't know me, which is good because I was concerned about about that, as you can tell from me sneaking around in here. But okay, I don't have to sneak. I can just walk around. Apparently, we're entrusting delicate matters to savages now. These are desperate times. It just doesn't make sense. One day, he had a little cough. The next, he's gone. Ah, uh, so there's... Not just a shortage of food, but also, as I think is frequently the case in pl any place where people are crowded in all together, um, there is a problem with a. Uh, oh, I guess I'm gonna want to go to that. Um, there is a problem with a uh, with disease running rampant as well. Well, I will figure out who they are, or I won't. Um. But, uh, but I'm looking forward to piecing together kind of what's going on here. Since Aloy is an outsider, these are things that she won't know either. Um, and so she may ask um, or help me gather the information that I need. And at the very least, the game won't just assume that I know things that I don't know. Um, man. Okay, so some things happened today. And I'm looking forward to next time when we go to Sunfall. 
Um, and I, I, this was a fun little, like, I hope you don't mind my little, uh, like, let's go get a tall neck. Um, but I, I, I scoped out some very scary territory, which was probably good for my general ability to not be terrified of literally everything that I encounter in the entire game. Um, but we're going to keep pushing on through this story, and I feel like I finally got a sense for the pacing. Sure, it took me like 30 streams. I'm so sorry for how badly paced I feel like the first like 5 to 10 streams were. Um, but those of you who've stuck around, I really, really appreciate it. I've been trying to fix up the timestamps on the series of, of, of streams so that it's easier for folks to like kind of skip and just get the like interesting bits or at least what I assume are the interesting bits um but I, I do appreciate people who stick around through my uh not just my meandering and my long-windedness but the, the problems that I was having early in this game um yeah so I think I'm gonna call it here because it is 10 which is our usual time to uh to end a stream as a reminder, we will be playing Unpacking on Thursday, and then we're going to play Stray, and then we'll kind of see what I feel up to from there. I will keep folks posted on the Discord. Um, we're going to continue playing Horizon Zero Dawn on Tuesday nights for the foreseeable future, um, which should carry us all the way through till December when I'm hopefully going to maybe be able to do internet stuff from my mom's house for a few weeks when I go there. Um, I'm going to try to continue streaming. Um, Oh my god, Chrono, thanks. Um, but yeah, so as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your bad jokes and your um, your emotional support, your enthusiasm, uh, and just general goodness. I appreciate you all. Um, so thank you. And for any new folks, thank you for dropping by. Please feel free to give me a follow if you like what you see. This is kind of what you're in for here, for better or for worse. Um, and yeah. Um, you're always welcome to join our Discord. There's a special stream spoilers channel if you want to talk spoilers um, that I don't see. Um, and I think that's mostly it. Um, yeah. I will see you all Thursday or Tuesday or online. Bye.